plantains are very popular in Venezuela. I'm going to use ripe plantains. They're a little bit softer, they're yellower on the outside, and they have the perfect sweetness for our Venezuelan lasagna. So this is a dish that is very common on the coast or in the Oriente of Venezuela, more particularly in Margarita Island. You can find the plantains, and they do it with chucho, which is a sort of a manta ray that lives on the coast, but we're gonna make it with any fish you can find. And see, I want my plantain nice and long, just like pasta noodles, because I'm gonna use it for my Venezuelan lasagna. First step, I'm gonna fry up the plantains. All the sugars are gonna caramelize, and they're gonna cook nice and golden. I don't want to cook them too much because what I'm making is basically tajadas, which is the ripe version of the fried plantain. I just want the sugars to come out, not too crispy, not too gooey. See that? That's nice and golden, just like what we want. My tajadas are done, which is the sweet, ripe plantain, and I'm ready to start my filling. So a little bit of olive oil, and then some onions, red pepper and garlic. And these are just gonna get sweeter and softer as I cook them. Perfect for our pastel de chucho. In Venezuela, I would make pastel de chucho with chucho, which is a species of fish that lives off the shallow waters of Venezuela. But here, I'm gonna make it with halibut. But first, I'm gonna put it in this water bath so it gently kinda boils. Now I'm gonna add some peppercorns for that spicy bite. And some bay leaves because I want this nice, nice and flavorful to add more flavor to the fish. So I don't want it to overcook in the water because I want all the flavors as well to mix in with the vegetables that I've been cooking here. Oh, the smells, the garlic, the onion, the peppers, and the texture of the fish. It's just perfect for our dish. Now that my fish is ready, I'm gonna start layering my lasagna. Remember I told you that plantains are like noodles? That's because I'm gonna use them as lasagna sheets. Little layer of plantains. So sweet, so crispy. Now I'm ready for the fish. The flavors are in the air. I can smell the garlic. I can smell the pepper. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so good. And in Venezuela, I would be using blackstrap molasses, but I wanna change things up a bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet local honey. Ah, oh, so many layers of sweetness. I tell you, in Venezuela, we like our stuff really, really sweet. Now I just gotta make more layers. So more plantain noodles. You can't have lasagna without cheese, man. 
So I'm using some queso cotija that you can find in the Latin supermarkets, but you can also substitute it for mozzarella or feta cheese. This cheese is gonna melt right into our lasagna. It's gonna be delicious. And to top this all off, I'm gonna add some eggs. I'm just gonna whisk them together, and it's gonna do two things. It's gonna glue everything together, and the second thing it's gonna do, it's gonna go really brown and crispy when it goes into the oven. Oh man, look at this. The cheese is gooey, the egg is crispy, I can smell the plantains, I can smell the fish, and just to top it all off, I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro, and I'm just gonna dig in. Oh, look at that. Flavors are in the air, oh. can taste the sweetness of the plantains, the fish, the salt of the cheese. It's all there. Next time you make a lasagna and make it with plantains, you're gonna impress your friends and your next dinner party. <laughs>